I went out with this girl once who wouldn't do anything unless I switched all the lights out, you know. And uh, uh, I said, why? She said, well, you know, the sight of a puny white body might put, put you off. And I said, well, you've got a lovely body. She said, no, not my body, your body. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people ask me uh, where my comedy comes from, and it's that old cliche, you know, uh, it's cool if, you know, someone hard comes over to you and they want to beat you up, you know, you do a bit of comedy and they leave you alone, do you know what I mean? Make the big guy laugh. And that's the same as me. I used to go around, you know, beating up the weeds and nicking their gags, do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I don't know, and I'm doing very well, I'm doing very well. I've got personalised number plates on my car now. I had to change my name to CMV456, but I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm getting there, you know. I actually locked my car keys in my car, and I was very lucky, because this copper come along and this brilliant thing. He got like a coat hanger, he got it in the window, he fucking... He let me out. I was... I got out, I was out. I was out. <laughs> so that was good. And, uh, you know, I had a new front door fitted on my house. Opens outwards. People knock on the door, you go... <laughs> No one there again. <laughs> and uh, I wanted more rooms, so I knocked two rooms into one. You know, trouble is when I go to bed, I fall back in the fucking lounge. <laughs> Cleaned all the windows the other day. It took me four hours on the outside there. You know, well, three hours to clean the bathroom window. Then my neighbour said the next day, I thought that was frosted yesterday, wasn't it? And uh, you know when you come to your house, seriously, seriously, you know when you come to your house and you think, I forgot something, I forgot something. And I'm doing 90 up the moment and I thought, what is it, I forgot what the fuck, what the fuck, and, and I, I, you can't, I, I forgot my car, I forgot my car. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I goes back home, you know, open the garage and I thought, I ain't got a fucking car, so what, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> and I haven't got a house, so, you know. But that happens. You know when you come at your house and you do, your brain does that little trick on you like that. You go, you just as you leave, you go, you forgot something. And you go, but he don't tell you what. You go, what, what? And you go, I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> well, I think I've got everything. No, you ain't got everything. <laughs> and it waits. It's like a ring around your house like this. Waits for that safe distance and it goes, you left your gas on. <laughs> My dad used to have that, you know, it's like um, all, all male species have got it, they've got like a piece of grey material at the back there in the brain, you know, it takes notes. Because my mum used to be talking to him and he could read the paper and listen to my mum at the same time. You know, my mum would go, my mum would be going, mm, 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 mm. you know, and the, and the little piece of brain would be going, ah, uh, 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 uh. Because at the end when she goes, ah, what, you're not listening to me, there you go, yeah, put the rubbish out tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, oh, have we got a towel there? we got a towel? We got a towel? We got a... Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks. 